Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the final episode in which we're playing uh, the Traum Disguisers. I'm your host, Mr. Uh, Germany Lover, but right now, German army enters Ottawa. The Canadian capital, Ottawa, was captured by German troops advancing deep into Canadian soil. The resistance was fought valiantly, but failed. Early in the morning, the Germans entered the east side of the city, where they met little resistance until they reached the banks of the Rideau River, which Canadians had set up some improvised defensive positions all in vain. By 4 p.m., German vehicles were started driving through the Golden Triangle in front of the city hall. The fall of the capital enraged the American government, which called Canadian generals incompetent. The people of Canada feared direct military inter interference by the Americans. Another victory to the Kaiserreich. Now, it doesn't look very good because actually, I kind of let, left it let, let it going right now. Um, I mostly just like, was focusing on Asia and whatnot. We're doing okay, but we'd have like no supply. But, you know, what else is new in Asia? Uh, but in the meantime, um, we have got some comments to go through as well. But yeah, I'm going to probably redo this just a wee bit so I don't end up getting. Um, all the divisions strapped up there, but some comments include Can you play in Tino know, uh, as a Iberian Federation as Torquata Fernandez Miranda? Yeah, probably soon. Yeah, probably eventually. Um, I'll take a look at that after this campaign, probably. But someone says, Please play Victoria 3 or Knights of Honor 2. And I don't know anything about Knights of Honor 2, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, someone else says in comments, Yeah, 300,000 divisions will probably mount your PC. Yeah, probably no, how, no matter how big or how small the division combo with would be. All right, everybody. So I just kind of got tired of this. It was such a huge grind against America that I, I've just given up. Like, I hate doing this, especially late game. So should take them out earlier. But let's go read through all this stuff. So the Frankfurt Assembly, the Frankfurt of Assemblung. It's an audience that consists of various meetings between the German High Command, the Kaiser, and his ministers. They determine the fate of the newly acquired territories from the major powers into the German Empire. That happens later when the Empire acquires new lands. It was created by... For bypassing some of the German bureaucracy and facilitate the administration. It's held in the Frankfurt of Roma, a city of Frankfurt on Main. Pretty the USA. Let's finish the British Empire. Oh, 25 days. Oh, let's see. We, oh, man. Reintegrate the Dutch territories into the German Empire. Instead of getting some autonomy to the Dutch, we intend to integrate them directly as one of the kingdoms that comprise our empire. Also, we're going to get more political power. Also, Velma III is here now, too. I forgot about that. He is a dude, so. So that gained a core. And the former Eastern German territories that were taken from us in the Curse Treaty of Versailles must be reintegrated into the Empire. Of course. Um, but we got all this stuff now. The former Königreich, Königreich, Frankreich, we achieved it. The French army was smashed, demolished, eclipsed, and all that darn Versailles thing is undone at last. Now, we should impose the rule against French nation, French nation. They will stay forever under rule and we will put a German queen to govern it. It will be a national holiday. Let us uh, celebrate. Glory to the eternal German Empire. Heil, de Heil Kaiser dear. Victoria Louise von Preussen will become the for the Netherlands party. That's cool. Beloved by the French people. But look at that. We're from the United Baltic Duchy under the leadership of Adolf Friedrich von Mecklenburg Schwerin. The United Baltic Duchy, proposed by Wilhelm II himself in 1918, was dismounted at the end of the Great War, and we should unite it again. We're from the Kingdom of Poland under Saxon King. Poland is an old state, it's caused a lot of trouble, so now we'll put him under a guardianship ruled by a German king. You know, all the Belarusian people under the rule of a German king. The Belarusian people were oppressed for many years under the Russian Empire and the Soviet Union. We must put an end to it, this and unite the people <clears throat> and, under the tutelage of the German king. The Kaiser's fifth son, Oscar, a loyal vassal of the Empire. Son of the Kaiser, a lot less political power, but better uh, compliance, growth speed, which is pretty nice. From the Königreich of Netherlands and Valhimina, well, we've done that before, but uh, well, Belgian, uh, from the Belgian state, lord of the Empire's cause. Also, in order to provide a stable government for the Belgian book, it must be done. Denmark. Um, Denmark did not maintain a peaceful po pass with the German Empire. They must be placed under guardianship under Christian X, below to the Kaiser, which is good. And uh, Volga Duchy, Duchy, from the German Volga Duchy. We create a new little Germany in the east to play aside as terrible fertile fields for new German settlers. The Kaiser has a man in mind for the job, Ernst Reiter. Oh man, we got a lot of here to do. Oh boy, oh boy. But the game moves fast enough, fast enough so we can talk about the fate of the British Empire and reintegrating the Dutch territories and the former East German territories too for a little more manpower, factories and whatnot. But I'm not too concerned about that stuff here too. Um, the Grand Duchy of the Steps. We can form a public monarchy in the Central Asia to facilitate our administration in that area. They have some vital resources for the German industry and of course put a German ruling to it. So has anyone popped up yet? It appears no. But the Volga Duchy, fate of the British Empire. The Treaty of London. We have succeeded. The German Empire has achieved the ultimate victory. We have eclipsed most of the Reichs once enemies. Uh, most of them. And now we must decide the fate of Britannia. Will we occupy all the British colonies that have not yet declared independence? The British war fleet will be scrapped. The British army will be disbanded. The British air force will be confiscated and scrapped. But what should we do with the homeland of English? Keep the British Isles united under George V. But follow the direct orders from Berlin, Britain, Scotland, and England. Annex everything. Huh. A weaker enemy. What is this? Suppress the Mafia in Trento. Trentino. No, oh, we could. 
but uh, I don't know. Split them or unite them? Well, let's split them just so we might get more people here. So we have Ireland. Oh, wait, what? They're a puppet. George VI is under German rule. Negative 90% uh, political power, which is insane. They defeated King. Nice. Yeah, boy. And then if you have Königreich Scotland, Scotland, Lupus von Bayern, a great war veteran, is very good for taking defense on core territory. And Lord to the Kaiser as well. Wow. Oh, do we have more here too? Oh, I guess it's more of the generic, the normal focus tree here. Formalized tree, so this stuff doesn't really matter at all. Um, but, uh, Königreich Ukraine. Uh, ambitions in the East have just begun. We need to secure the Ukrainian nations. It's Greenfield's and his workforce for this, but we found a kingdom. How about a German king rule? Uh, Prince August is the man for the job. It's low legitimacy, but protector of the Cossack. Cavalry tech plus 50%. My god. Compliance growth be plus 30%. But he's also the son of the Kaiser, which is important too. And we'll do the fate of Austrian, Hungarian, and Slovakian lands, of course, too. So that's actually really cool. As we're going to slowly go through all this stuff here. Ah, Danemark is back. Uh, Christian the 10th of Danemark. Not bad. Uh, Belgian. Oh. Labo the third Belgium. Looks like you just took this photo. Holy crap. Lord of the Kaiser, of course. Um, yeah. Plenty of ships. Oh, I guess we lost most of our uh, fleet, huh? Königreich Frankreich. Mama Victoria Louis von Preussen. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but imposed military restrictions against the British. We can harsh force harsh military restrictions in a British vassal to keep the arms down in case of a rebellion. Also, let's give them a taste of humiliation like they did with us in Versailles. The my, ro mighty Royal Navy must be will just be a memory of the past. Yeah. And imposed military restrictions against the French. Yes. Uh, from Königreich, Belgium. We can expand our Belgian allies, giving them the old French chapter of Nord de, uh, Nord de Calais, since the French are now ruled by Victoria. They knew they had their economic and military capacity limited as to not cause us any more problems. Territorial disputes of de Galicia. Now that we hold definitely the control of the region, we can choose who it belongs to. They control the former island of Denmark. Yes. Sure. Why not? And so we have these guys. Look at this guy. Friedrich Christian von Sachsen. Can they like Austin? I love Austin. Oscar, how are you doing, Oscar? Son of the Kaiser. And then we have Adolf Friedrich von Mecklenburg Schwerin. The Volga Herzogtum. Look at this guy. And Reuter. Good administrator, though. Good administrator. Grosser. Grosser Zogtum der Steppen. Der Steppen. I love this one. This national focus is really good. Yep, cavalrymen. Very nice. Shush. Is it shush? It might be shush. I love the color of that, though. Hey, you can't too. The gang's all here. Look at this guy. August Wilhelm von Preuss and low legitimacy. Yeah. Pretty normal. Um, we're just slowly trying to rebuild the world, too. Alright, what else we have here? Uh, from the Grand Duchy of Eastern Russia. We can establish Khan in the far east of the former Russian lands. Certainly bother the Japanese, but also grants a firm position in the east. From the Great Great Duchy, Grand Duchy of oh, Great Finland. We did it, we defeated Russia once more to keep their loyalty, and he put a Russian Duke, Vassal of the Emperor, Ru the last Romanov, Vassal of Vlad Ivanovich. Form the Grand Duchy of Finland. Form the Grand Duchy of Finland or Marshal Mannerheim. Nice. And we'll see about that in a little bit. Ooh. That was just Latvia. Oh, that kind of sucks. It's just Latvia. I haven't formed anything else. Oh, we did get some nukes out. Yeah. The very Germanic world, which we love. The form create Germany Asia. We have some provinces of high mineral value in East Asia. The Kaiser proposed a plan to find a new colony there. And find a powerful naval fleet to guard it. The Deutsche Ostasian Flotta. Under Admiral Max Bastin. Go see expand the Baltic Duchy. Oh, you bet we do want to do that. Uh, oh, German East Indies, huh? Oh, a little bit of lag as we are forming Russia, of course. I might just pause here just a little bit. It gives a little more uh, political power to work and as well. I've given myself a oh, crap ton of political power. So, I'll expand the Baltic Duchy. Or improve its bureaucracy and military capacity. They should compose the area of all the former Baltic countries. Um, their territorial spirits. Uh, form the Kundakreich Occitani. As part of our imperialist ambitions of the West, now that the French are under our tutelage, the region to the south of France is still under trouble by 
trade unionists. Must but a general veteran of the Great War have ruled them firmly and keep her domain. General Martin Charles de Beaulieu is the right man. So that's what keep going on. I'm not gonna keep. I, I will like take my time with it because I want to see who's here. Casa Duke. That's really cool. Marshal Manahan. I like that. Civilian war sport. The division defense core territory. No gross fur firsten. Gross Fursten Tom Gross Ruslan. Vlasovald Ivanovich. You're still doing the Komosol, eh? Ah. Lord of the Kaiser, as it should be. And then we have Deutsch Kolonials Ostrusen. Hubert Schmund. Nice. Hubert. Hubert. Transfer the Manchurian territory, Manchurian territory to the Duchy of East Russia. We can transfer part of the Manchurian territory to the Great German Duchy of Eastern Russia. From the colony of Canada. We took Canada from the British and now the Kaiser will the creation of our own colony in North America. Maybe in the future we should expand to the south. From the Germany Indies. Finally, taken from the British the regions of the Indies are some of the richest soils in the entire world. Certainly give us a little incontestable power of the world. And this one too. Fate of the USA. We defeat the last colossus of the world, the USA. Now we can decide what to do with their former lands. Um, the Sano German uh, Trade Company. We've acquired land in southern China. This region is so much rich and have some of the most exotic demand and spices in the world. From the Middle Eastern Colonial Administration. Our new lands in the Middle East are needing a new local administration. From the Grand Duchy of German Central China. We're acquiring new lands in China. These ones are not li literal. Let's create a ditchy vassal to form for the empire there. From the Military Administration of Mongolia. Create a Military Administration of Mongolia to bypass some bureaucracy. Why not? As we're slowly releasing more puppets and whatnot here. Um, anything else different? Not too much yet. Not too much yet. Ah, uh, establish. Establish, not establish, but just establish a military administration of Siberia. Uh, Siberia does not have too much use for us, but we can't let that anarchist take the power. We need to send some of our colonial officers to, the, send, to the, keep order. Yeah. Konegraik Rumanin. We have conquered parts of the region. Uh, the former king of Romania. Let's unite under its former king, Michael Fuller. He is a Hohenzollern. Ah. Ah, now they got thick. I like how thick they are. Develop natural resources, so. If they're not thick, I don't want them. That's how I live. Nice. Though it just kind of like a beautiful thing, I know, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, look at this. Couldn't look like Oxitani. I love how they pronounce it very similar to English. Oh, not bad. Charles de Beaulieu. Um, anything else here in the east? Siberia? No, not yet. Canada will form two. Uh, oh, with this event here, too. Deutsch Ost Max Bastion. He's got a haircut and a chin. Wow. Hey, Stahler. In the former territory of the Austro Hungarian Empire. We formally annexed the regions that belonged to the old Austro Hungarian Empire. Now, when you decide what to do with this, these territories, and then there's some options. Recreate the Austro Hungarian nation, but they'll be a protected kingdom under the German Empire. And the monarch will be Otto von Habsburg. If you agree to promise loyalty to the Kaiser, integrate Austria and Bohemia directly into this German territory. And form the Grand Duchy of Slovakia, uh, Hungary, Slovakia, under the German king, which we do. Integrate Austria and Bohemia and form the Grand Duchy in Hungary. I do like horrors. We get uh, in Hungary, Friedrich Victor von Hohenzollern, which is cool, the legitimacy, and Lord of the Kaiser, versus reform the Austrian Empire and the Protectorate. Integrated Republic of the Duchess Quetzal Reich. Um, so, where are we at? So, let's go look see. Uh, I give them all Manchuria. Holy crap, that's a lot of Manchuria for them. Um, uh, I want to integrate them and form the Grand Duchy in Hungary. But at the same time, let's see what we do. Like, I hate doing these options because we should honestly just directly annex them. But I want to see, like, anything else here. Like, like I don't mind because this is the end of the campaign pretty much, too, anyways. But, you know, form the colonial Bund Deutsch West Africa or Deutsch Middle Africa. Now, we control our all possessions of the pre war again with the exception of the most ambitious colonial plan, Middle Africa. A new colony in the West of African continent are suffering under bureaucracy. When you create a colonial administration, they are the Deutsche West Africa under the former governor of, of Deutsche Ost Africa, Heinrich Schnee. Create the Grand Duchy of the Caucasus. We create the Grand Duchy of the Caucasus to facilitate administration in that area. We get the former Indonesian lands for colonial administration in East Africa. We have conquered the Australian and New Zealand lands there, and it makes it possible we expand our colonial administration in East Asia. Question of Siam. Governor Admiral Max Bastian asks Kaiser for the Siam integration into the Germany in East Asia. Should we accept? A grant some of our isles in the western Pacific to the German East Asian. We have granted some other isles in the Pacific, let's transfer them to a colony in East Asia. And grant some of the former Japanese isles to the colonial administration in East Asia, expand German Middle East. We expand this colonial possession to the Arab lands. 
For the United Kingdoms of the Balkans, a German king. Balkan people are always in conflict in that region for some time now, bringing certain problems to the world. Most of a German king to unite them and govern them with uh, more wars. From the kind of like Grecian land. From the kingdom of Greece under a guardianship and one more, one more little nation in the Balkans. And form the German West Indies. We can form a military government in America, more specifically on the islands that surround America, the West Indies. The new colony will be administered by the Council of Admirals. Look at this guy, Kyle Zimmerman. I love it. She thought Hitler's really bad, but whatever. What else we got around here? This is up to all. Oh, Canada's here too. Look at that. Deutsches Kaiserreich still here. Deutsches Kaiserreich. And Karl von der Reich. The German Empire started to sponsor 10 doctors in Germany, Asia. The Asia was taken by the Kaiser today. In the morning, he defended an idea of a strong fleet garrison in the new colony. The Japanese can be a threat to the North, and the locals could start a rebellion at any moment. With this decision, and in a few years, a no, few power, a powerful fleet will be settled in East Asia. Excellent. 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 I don't know how all the spelling is correct, but I don't really care. Oh, who's next? China? Oh, it must be multiple, because we did like quite a few of them in a single day, so. Ah, uh, the fate of the U.S. Uh, those were some of the finest soldiers the world has ever seen, but they were defeated by the German Empire, as they did to us in 1918. Well, was ruled by the British, and they got kicked out of there, so we need to prevent this by making some just agreements with the people of this new land. We have some options. One, liberate the West under friendly government, elected by the Americans, but keep the East Coast in case of rebellion. Two, liberate them entirely under friendly government. Vegas can be dangerous in the long term. Three, split the U.S. into three colonies, one in the West, one in the East, and one the last one in the North. Must have in mind the USA is a powerful nation by nature, and we're gonna make the same mistake as the British did in 1775. Liberate the West and keep the East Coast. I like that idea, that's pretty cool. You have Dwight Eisenhower become the leader. Great War veteran in Iron Fist. Wow. Liberate all of them. Split everything in three colonies. Yeah, I'll probably do that one. Yeah, yeah, Dwight Eisenhower. Well, that's interesting. I mean, obviously, as a an an American, this is a terrible option, but you know, America falling would be a terrible option no matter what. Well, that's alright. Deutsch, Indien, Indien. Arnold Lecky. Lord to the Kaiser, as he should be. Uh, what else? Ooh. Deutsch Militärverwaltung der Mongolei. Ah, yes. German Colonial Administration, of course, as it should be. Ah, look at this. We have Chinese, Chinese, Chinese Deutsch Handelsgesellschaft. Von Falkenhausen. Von Falkenhausen. Von Falkenhausen, my apologies. Um. Cool. Oh my, oh what the flip is this? You just gave it a Californian? Herr Rudolf Asmus. Dakota Bismarck. Like Herr Johannes Bell. Axen Kolonin. Really? Like this is, this is, uh, we gave Michigan to Canada? What the fudge, sickles? Dakota Bismarck is not bad, I guess because technically Bismarck is his capital, but like you have Chicago and you have all of Ohio here. You have all of Missouri, California, all the way to New Mexico. Oh my god, this is a butchery. This is a butchery, butchery. Why did it was Michigan part of Canada? What the heck? Bruh. Bruh. Ah. Mittelos Deutsch. Deutsch. Alright, what are we going uh, so Germany, expand the sound of German trade company. Got some more ports in the northeastern China. Give them to our trade company in China. And now southern China, too. From the colonial government of Mexico, acquire a large amount of land in the region of the former Mexican nation. Must create a colonial administration there. From the colonial nation of Klein Vendig. The northern region of South America contains some of the most richest resources of oil in the world. We must establish a colonial government there to make the best use of them. Territorial disputes of the old territory. Galicia, like I read earlier, the fate of the eastern territories of the Rhone River. Now they've established colonial Reich Ox Oxitani. Let's we'll decide the questions about who will be the new owner of the Eastern Territories of the Rhone River and to create the North African Militarvavatum in order to facilitate our administration in our new colonies in, As in Africa. We in initiate the creation of the North African Militarvavatum with its capital in Casablanca, the former capital of the Morocco and a German colonial administration, and transfer the administration of Tenet Hooven lands through military personnel in Siberia. Central China? Please go with them. Ah, wow. Here, uh, Chiang Wai Kuo. He's a duke. That's cool. Most Azin. You have a lot to do. Territory to speak to the old territory? Territory of Galicia. Galicia was a former state of austro hungarian Empire, certainly a troubled region which comes to claim legitimacy. No, with the control of the region, we can definitely choose who it belongs to. Couldn't the correct Poland? Annex to. Wait, we. 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 We gain cores? 
Wait, so Krakow, Stanislaw, and Lviv. Cut to this. Wait, oh, these. That would be disgusting if we annexed them. I definitely don't want to give it to Poland, though. Transcaucasia unites again. Oh, look at that. For the first time at the beginning of the Russian Civil War, which quickly fell apart, second time was the Soviet Republic, which was split apart under the Soviet Constitution of 1936. Now, for the third time, Van Gogh has made an effort to reunite the Transcaucasian Union, or countries at least. Um, and they're once again ready and standing to not only defend their territories, but also expand their other territories. One can tell what they will do. Integrate the Tibetan lands into the Chinese dynasty, or duchy. To facilitate the administration, we could integrate this land into China, even more to the north. We can expand the Grand Duchy of German Central China even more to the north, uh, to the Western Chinese territories. We have Central German territories, expand Deutsch, West Africa, give the form, former Liberian territory to a colonial personnel of West Africa, and also uh, confiscate Sao Tome from the Portuguese. Deutsch, West Africa. Ah, Henrik Chini. Deutsch, Ascadis. I love that. That was awesome. Oh, it's gone now. German colonial administration then. Okay, whatever. Anything else? This looks this is absolutely disgusting, but I I don't I'm pulling it would look it would look nice with Poland having it, but whatever. Ah. Okay. So it does look a little nicer, but we do have claims on it, but whatever. Fate of the Eastern Territories of the Rhone River. Now that we established Colonel Goraish Ok Zetanin, we must decide some of the questions who will be the new owner of the region of the Eastern Territories of the Rhone River. Give to Ok As Oh territories. Yeah, they went there. What is this? Italian Union. I thought I annexed you guys. What the barnacles? United Kingdom of the Balkans. Expand more to protect them. Expand the United Kingdom of the Balkans. Protect the South, including Albania, to it. Expand the German West Indies. Put the rule under the rule of Luf, Admiral Luf. Expand the German West uh, Indies. Get the former Dutch colonies in America under the Western Indies rule. Uh, to Cuba. Cuba is a big island in the Carib Ocean and must be administered by the Council of Admirals in America. Expand the German West Indies. Former territories Haiti and Dominican Republic are located in the Big Island and Carib. Let's give it to our subjects in Nassau. As well as require two small islands that belong to the Americans, the Caribbean. So let's give them our colonial administration there too. I gotta give it to those guys, but we have these guys too now. What type of freaking flag is that? Ernst August von Lippe. German Slav. Oh, Rumanian is here now too. Oh, Michael the First. Von Hohenzollern Sigmaringen. Very nice. Ah, uh, Greece, you're back to. Georgius the second. German sympathizer, yes. Well, the world's coming together. East Africa. That's a big East Africa. I'm not gonna lie. That is. Up, up on the, the water back, the line of Africa. Very nice. Very handsome. Ah, Mexico. Ah, California got that at least. Yeah, Fritz Tyson. Oh, God, it's gonna be a corporation here. Mexico's just one giant corporation for them. Clan Vindy. Ernst Wilhelm. Deutsch West Indien. Gross Admiral Lachluf. Max Luf. Uh, expand North Africa military verwaltung. Our new colonies in, East, in Egypt need a military administration to maintain order. We also transfer the administrative capital to the city of Tripoli. And same thing here. Exp acquire the Italian possessions of Libya. Expand the North Africa military verwaltung. Same thing with the former Spanish territories in Africa. Expand the North Africa military verwaltung. Acquire the former French colonies east of the North Africa military verwaltung. Expand Mexico. And yeah. yeah, Mexico. Expand. Cool. Nice, uh, East Africa. Of course, all this stuff over here, too. Um, we don't need any more political power, but I still don't like that Michigan is part of Canada. Never, ever, 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 ever. As gross as Ogdom Deutsch Zentro China. Big boys. Hey, we're making some nukes, too. Look at that. I was thinking, too, I don't care about research right now anymore. Wow, this is a big old boy here. Long boy. The kingdom of the United Nations of the Balkans. Going to explode. I guarantee it. Hungary proclaims greater Hungary. Oh. Bruh. Okay, whatever. So just Kaiserreich, of course, there too. Um, anything else? We want immigration. Hey, North Africa is shown to have auto. Impose military restrictions against 18 colonies. Can the nation take up arms against us again? <clears throat> Impose harsh military restrictions. Sure. Employment offices. Spain, nothing for Spain. The rest of Africa as well, which kind of sucks. Um, Denmark, no Sweden. I like how Mexico is all the way down here. And Klein Bendig, it's looking very nice. Nothing about South America? Really? Spending more? Chahar? 
That might be it, actually. Oh, but we take a look at this one, too. Deutsch invest in these. Yes. I like how this has turned out, but I don't think... There's not enough. I wish there was more. You know. Like, Ethiopian. Ethiopian, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Um, Middle East, Persia. Of course, I guess then you'd probably need to get more stuff here, too. Like, lands and whatnot, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is, but hey, this is the world. And I apologize for cheating, especially in the last episode, but like it just took forever, and this took quite a while just trying to go through everything here too, so. Hey, but I've enjoyed it. If you if you enjoyed it though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, see you tomorrow. In another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Wilhelm the third rest of your day.